right, viewers, Brad Prider, Barstool Entertainment, doing another Assassin's Creed Valhalla video. And it's another raiding mission. As I talked about my raiding advice, yeah, there's always also some form of boss man of sorts, uh, much more, how shall I say, stronger antagonist at some of these raids that are kind of hard to overcome. In this case, the Wen Luckin Abbey, where we, or should I say, I'm having Ivor raid. There's this guy who dual wields, or is not dual wielding, but wields a two handed sword, and he's very difficult. So, yeah, the best way to take him on, I'll explain in the video. So, let's get on with raiding the Wen Luckin Abbey. I'm moving Ivor to the high ground here in order to take down, well, get him back up on top of this hut. There is this guy who is wielding right there. Yeah, he is real difficult to take down without being high and shooting him with arrows because, yeah, he is nasty to fight. And so I'm going to go down and now engage him hand to hand if possible here. Obviously, Ivor didn't like the guy too much, and so now loot him, broken shield, yeah, not much there, but take on a few other guys here, and then let's get to the main treasure, if possible. Activating the Odin vision here, and now I know where everything is sort of located and what I'm looking for. Unfortunately, getting into the main building is kind of a pain in the butt. So I may have to take out some other dudes. They see me. Yeah, let's take out these guys. You can tell I prefer distant attacks and taking attacking from the high ground because multiple opponents and stronger opponents, they're easier, easier to take down. And Ivor is still not bulked up enough yet to actually go toe-to-toe -to -toe with multiple guys. Excellent door that can be forced open. Let's get going here. One, two, yep, no one here. Some 
big treasure here. Let's open it up and see what we got. Okay, the raid is complete, and when Lock Abbey is raided, I'm going to help this character out here, revive them. But once you've raided a place, my advice is clear out the area. Like I'm looking at right now, there's this area and some other areas around that you kind of want to clear out. And once you get all the X's there, you end up having that area cleared out. So I'm going to cut to a different scene because... This is a different adventure that I discover. In clearing out an area, sometimes you end up having a whole new different adventure. And that's why, if you see on the map, it's all cleared out. But, yeah, I wound up investigating something else, and I want to do a video about that. If you found this video helpful, hit the like button. If you like this type of video, Hit the subscribe button and bell icon. I post four video game videos a week, and you don't want to miss out. I'm Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment. Thank you for watching, thank you for subscribing, and thanks for stopping by. Synchronized.